So, can a beginner sweep in Dragon Ball Sparking Zero online matches here? These are some ranked matches. The DP matches are the 15-point team matches, right? And I've been playing solo ranked, and I've been playing that as well. Um, I have a lot to say about this game. A lot of people want to know, in terms of my community and stuff like that, what I think of this game. Um, but, I will say I'm a complete beginner. I never played any of the other games for more than a minute or two. You know, I, it, I probably played it for a little bit. Like, I probably played like one of the games just to see what the characters were like for maybe, I don't know, 20 minutes, 30 minutes or something like, oh, like a decade or more ago, you know, maybe even a, just a long time ago, you know, that, so I never really played it. I'm in that category that I have no clue really what I'm doing. I've been playing the last few days here and there. Um, and, you know, I noticed certain things, like the game isn't balanced at all. Is it fun, though? Yeah, it is pretty fun, and I really like the characters, like Videl, for instance. I think when you counter with, uh, with Circle, right, and, and she does the, the swaying stuff and all that, and then she attacks you, it doesn't stun like most of the other characters, like even Maximum Power Max, uh, Master Roshi. He'll do that. Like if you if you hit that circle button and they they punch you, he'll hit him and they'll bend over. They'll be stunned for a certain amount of time. You can attack them freely or you can grab them for the most part. But with her, she doesn't have that like mechanic. It it just kind of resets back to neutral and nothing really happens. Um, she's definitely weaker. Um, not not as weak as Mister Satan, her father, but. I like her a lot, right? And I'm playing characters that I like. So that's kind of where I'm at because I tend to have more fun and I do better. We're going to see three different sets here, right? Of these five or 15 point battles. I call it a set because when you switch, it just really, you know, these are very long fights, right? It's like five, five minute fights to maybe eight minute fights. So when you switch, um, it's really interesting because none of these fights will actually time out. And I've noticed that a lot of those uh, team-based rank fights time out. So, you know, really interesting stuff. Here we have the Master Roshi, as you can see. Like, his grab is pretty good. His command is pretty good. He's he's pretty good for a low-cost character. He costs two points out of the 15. And Videl does too. Now, I, I don't know. Uh, I don't know if Videl... <sighs> Like, I get that she's two points, but I don't know. Is she a one-point character or a two-point character? She seems... I think if, if she was a one-point character, everyone would just throw her on the team probably, right? So I guess I understand that, but I don't... I don't it's interesting to see them look at balancing in some parts of the game and not in others. Um, for me, I'm just trying to familiarize myself with the... How to play the game. Because it's only been about three days I've been playing, and I am, you know, a true noob at this game. Um, trying my best to to have fun and to enjoy the game, but I don't, I don't really like the randomness of some of the situations, and I don't like the kind of coin flip in some of the situations. Um, what do I like about this game? <sighs> I, I actually really like the combos and the neutral combos and when people are boxing each other. So, like, when we are actually fighting face-to-face -face and we're making choices uh, to fight and to box face-to-face -face and we're both kind of going back and forth and comboing, I don't like the getting stuck in that teleportation battle back and forth, back and forth, or being stuck in the launcher where you, someone combos you for a long time and then they launch you and then you press like triangle and they launch you again and again and again and then you know you can get out of it right by holding block but a lot of times for some reason online that's not working for me you know and I don't know is it a skill issue it may be but I actually think that people are gaslighting a little bit because I don't think it's just a skill issue I think it's a way that the mechanics have been uh, presented and how the game is very defensive. There's a lot of different ways to, you know, to actually defend in this game, which isn't always bad because, you know, Naruto Storm games are like that. Like Naruto Storm 4 was like that. But in the end, uh, that 
that wasn't a bad thing in Naruto Storm 4. That was a good thing. Uh, the, the bad thing in Naruto Storm 4 was the chakra recovery glitch or the game breaking glitches that happened in the game, like sub banking, right? Which was a lot of them were fixed in connect connections but then the other problem that comes with that is that the game becomes less fun um in that you know maybe you could put something in it in a substitute that is balanced but that's not really how these games work uh just because the devs of these anime arena fighter games are working on them doesn't mean that they actually uh will give you the results that you like or that the community would need or want overall and that's just a fact so i really love this character this Goku, I think it's Goku GT, the kid Goku, because he can transform a few times into one of my favorite Gokus, which is crazy. Um, so it, it, he's, he's a nice closing character, I think, in these team battles. And, you know, you can see, like, it's easy to criticize this gameplay. Like, even I, a day later, am criticizing this, being like, wow, I suck really bad. And I suck now, too, but I'm a lot better, you know, today. Uh, than I was two days ago when I recorded this because I had been practicing in the lab and doing stuff which br brings to my attention that uh, the game is not great at teaching you things uh, and you need to kind of you really need to learn um, from your opponents and a lot of people will not they will gg no re right or they will not fight you back and uh, that's okay I mean if it gives you the option to do that both people can do it no one has to do it. As you can see there, you see how I countered him, and then I uh, punched him, and then I grabbed him, and then it allowed me space to turn into this Goku, which is a Goku that I love. I, I really love Dragon Ball. I really love a lot of the characters. Like, there it is. That is the man right there. You know, I really love it. Oh my god. Sorry to tell you this. That was... But there's too much of a power gap. That was very difficult. me. <laughs> But this was very hard, and I didn't expect to win this. Um, and the reason why it was difficult is because I, I'm even just trying... I, I sometimes press certain buttons or do certain things, and they don't work. And some of that, for sure, is my fault. But I also have realized that some of that is because of the lag online. And initially, I thought, oh, this game doesn't lag. That's not true. It's just good at covering it up like Naruto Storm Connections is. So, you know, I noticed when I play offline... And when I play friends in private lobbies, not always, but sometimes those are just way better connections. So like if you find a person right in a private lobby for player matches and you um, you have a good connection, right? Because that happens and you play lots of games together. I played this one guy for 45 minutes. Man, it was fun. It was phenomenal. I loved it. But it is true that you're not always going to get that because there's no rollback netcode, right? It's the netcode is a lot better than say storm connections and even storm four or most storm games aside from Naruto storm two, but it is not, it is not it, you know, to have a game like this, um, I think, and to make it and to maintain that fun for a long period of time, I think it's going to come down to having that stable netcode, which I'm not sure if they can implement after the game has you know, been released. They can probably change a few things here and there. They tried with connections, but they only made the game worse. There was about a two-week period where there was no lag at all, and then there were events that lagged the game, which is kind of weird. So, can a beginner sweep? So, we are in our second fight. There's going to be a third. Uh, we somehow won the first fight, but this is the cool thing. If you're still here, thank you so much for being here. I appreciate you. Uh, if you could hit the like button, that would be good, or dislike button, or just tell me your thoughts. I would like to know your thoughts. Like, if there's any improving tips that you can give me, uh, at, if you're a veteran, which most of you seem to be, um, I would appreciate that. Uh, I will listen to it, and I'll see what I can do. It'll take me probably a long time to learn, but um, I'm, I'm starting to get it. You know, I'm starting to get the game. So... This second and third fight, I actually do play a lot better. And this is the benefit to playing the same person over and over again. But this is maybe one of four or five people. Uh, maybe like one of like nine or ten people out of 200 people that I fought and ranked that actually gave did the full three sets with me. Almost everybody leaves after the first set, first fight or the second fight. Most people don't go for the third unless they think you're really, really bad and they're trying to just get points. Um, but, you know, people have been really honorable about that where 
if someone is way better than me and they beat me and they just destroy me, you know, um, and they can see I don't have the skill set, a lot of them just leave and they don't even want the points. And I think that's very admirable and good. Um, it's interesting to see something like that because I don't see that often in, you know, I don't, yeah, I don't really see that in, uh, in other situations like in Naruto Storm Connections. Though I don't really have that problem at all in all, you know, all, all Storm games that I play online from Storm 2 to, to Connections. And my skill level is very different in those games and my, my experience of those games and how to play those games is very different, right? So... I'm a veteran of those games, and you know I know how to play the games uh, inside and out. There's really not much I don't know how to do, and anything I don't do, I choose not to do because I think it's broken, and I get by with other mechanics, um, which is interesting, right? Like the combo support air glitch, right? I don't actually think that that's a really great... I think it's a cool mechanic, but I think it's extremely unbalanced, and it's broken, and it's game-breaking. It's basically a game-breaking glitch, in my opinion. And um, I don't like it, so I don't use it. Um, it. That one's a tough one. You'd have to really nitpick that one to figure out if that's game-breaking or not. But, uh, I mean, I think that, actually, that, that one's pretty easy to explain. But I'll save that for another video. Uh, I'll leave that for another video. I do have a very good explanation for why I think that's broken. And why people shouldn't use it if they want a fair fight. So this guy's killing me with this character. I love that character he's using. I love Videl, but she's she's weak, man. Yeah, I hate that when they just keep getting you over and over again. And I, I'm pressing the block button in it at the time, and it won't get me out of it. But when I practice it, I get it like 50 to 60% of the time. But in ranked, I get it like 5% of the time. And it's very weird to me why there's that just, you know... <sighs> that difference in outcomes. I don't like that. I don't like there being that randomness of difference of outcomes. Um, you know, my opinion will change over time. I'm not hating on this game. I'm just giving you an experience, like the experience of a beginner and what it's like playing this game. I can see there's a lot of veterans, a lot of people that are good at the game. And uh, it it's a pleasure to fight some of those people because some of those people are really good people and it shows positivity and good goodness in an anime community which isn't always the case a lot of times there's a lot of hatred in the anime community now i think people are going to be hey we won our second set or team fight now can we win the third can we sweep as a beginner and that's very hard to do because the person you're fighting learns your play style and mine is not very complicated right my play style is not very complicated and i'm not using like super crazy cheesy teams either um you know like i'm not doing the yajiro's uh, yeah yajirobi senju bean and then all this other stuff I've, I've found a lot of stuff there's a lot of characters that can regen i think it's okay to have one or two of those characters maybe but there's a way probably to make three four or five of your characters be completely cheesed out and busted uh i think so and if you're doing that then yeah i mean like it's fine because you know, you're competing and it's in the game. Like, it, it, the game wants you to do it, right? This is where you come back to the Naruto Storm Connections where it's like, the game basically wants you to do certain things. But, you know, a lot of times people will make that argument and say, it's in the game, you can do it. But then they come around, like, for instance, with Kalgia, right? There was a lot of people saying certain things about that and how competitive that was and how good it was. And But then what do they do? They go around and nerf it. So... Kind of just like showing people that, hey, they actually thought that that shouldn't really be in the game and it's causing problems, right? Uh, Minotaur Live Grab. They nerfed it so it's the weakest grab in the game, or I think twice as weak as it was, and then it scales even weaker. People don't know that. There's actually, in the second grab, if you do the, once you do the second grab, not only is it weaker because of damage scaling, that's amazing. When I hit this, I was so joyful. I was so joyful when I hit that move. I'm looking to see if I can transform, but I can't. I liked it. It's it's interesting, you know, like that. Uh, I don't know. The way they, they balance these games are interesting. I don't even know if they're going to balance this game or how they will. They, I think I read in an article somewhere that they're, they kind of just want you to feel like you're in the anime and have a fun time and good time. And it's, uh, it's not supposed to feel 
you know, uh, balanced and competitive like that. Anything is competitive, can be competitive, but is it, uh, you know, if, does it fit that certain standard of competition where both people have an equal chance and a game reward skill, right, and not kind of like cheesy mechanics that play the game for you like this is going to be an ongoing discussion people will be talking about for a long time i really like chaozu uh i'm probably saying his name wrong um uh, but I, I i like this character i want to explore this character a little more i like the thing that they nailed about this game that i really like is you do really feel like the characters for the most part. My initial reaction was this game is good and I can see why people like it, but it's going to take a long time for me to learn it because it takes me a long time to learn new things. But if I'm going to time dump into this game, I would much prefer to time dump into Fighters because I have that game too and I think it's a much better game in terms of the way uh, that it's balanced, but also the way that it looks. Like when I play Janimba in Fighters, it is such a... It is way better and way cooler, and it just feels so much better than this game does. But I think part of it is because I, I'm a beginner, and I don't know the mechanics that well, and that's why I'm trying. Like, if you look in this last match from the first two matches, I'm a lot better, a lot more confident. And it is thanks to this player, partially, you know, because I'm able to fight him, and uh, we're able to actually learn from each other and have a real set. Having a real set's really important. Um, I think that if... If the matchmaker is matching you up with people of similar skill level, that's a good thing. But the other kind of issue I have with this game in ranked, right, is that a lot of those people in the D ranks, which is I'm in the D ranks and low C ranks, right, and I, I don't go up high that much because I don't win that much, is that I'm fighting people that are abnormally skilled. They're definitely B and A tier, maybe even Z tier, but for sure B and A tier right and they're fighting me in the d tier and i don't really have a chance like i do put up a fight most of the time but then they always do something that i that i'm not even aware of yet or that i haven't practiced yet or that i i don't quite understand and it's because they are veterans of the old games and they they know how to do certain things and uh, you know and that's fine but i think the game should maybe do a little bit better job of the matchmaking Right where it matches you up with people of equal skill. Now I think that this was a very good example, where me and this guy were very similar skill. I found these very difficult fights, um, but I really did enjoy the growing and learning experience. I am gonna put more time into this game. I want to give this game more of a chance. Um, I want to be fair to the game, but I also don't want to just say positive things about the game because everyone's doing it. I think a lot of it is people just being are very defensive about this game. Um, yeah, is it good? Yes, it's good. But there are certain things I think that could improve this game for sure. Um, yeah, that was a pretty good fight here. Like, uh, Let me see. Is he going to get me? Where is he at? No, he's too far. He's too far away. Yeah, I think it'll be interesting as time goes on to see what happens. Um, we're about to sweep here, maybe. Let's see. He's getting us. Can we do it? Um, like, I really like the fights where they're back and forth. Not the ones where someone is just straight, basically almost perfecting the other person, and then the other person can't get out of it. We got him. Nice, so we swept. We freaking got him three times in a row, bro. 